a college roommate who just smoked a joint suggest we build in our web browser? <laughs> okay. All right, this is really impressive. I keep thinking I'm a stump it. I'm Josh, I'm the CEO of the browser company. So we're building this browser, Arc Browser, and we have a bajillion ideas for how we can use these LLMs to make web browsing using the internet better. But we're kind of skeptical that it's ready for prime time. And so I want to actually ask ChatGPT itself about these concerns, because maybe we're thinking about it the wrong way. I would love if it could just do my job for me. Okay, so I'm starting by just telling ChatGPT the first real question and concern we have, which is there's something called a context window. You can think of a LLM like your experience with ChatGPT as inputs and outputs. So you input context, a context window, and it outputs a response. The context window is pretty small and limited right now. For example, we couldn't input every website and the contents of it that you view ever. We couldn't even do for a lot of times, even just 10 websites. Do you disagree ChatGPT? Are we missing anything? Maybe ChatGPT has a wild idea. Huh. Okay. So essentially what it's saying is you're not wrong, but it does have this one idea, which is another approach could be to suggest web pages based on a user's browsing history. I don't really get that. It's like, we'd love to do that, but up above it says you can't consider all of a person's web browsing history. And then below it's saying, but you could recommend websites based on browsing history. Let's see how it thinks we can do that. Cause that feels at odds. Huh? So this is something we've considered before. So, I mean, this is really impressive. We are, I hopefully pretty good, if not really good at our craft and ChatGPT suggested something we've already tried and considered immediately. We should use GPT-4 to summarize a web page and then use those summaries to recommend similar web pages based on how the summaries are similar. The thing that I think it's still missing though is, okay, well, you view hundreds, thousands of websites a week. That's uh, still not enough in a context window. So let's see what it says about that. That makes sense. Wow. I keep thinking I'm a stump it. It's creative. It's saying you could take those summaries and essentially group web pages into those clusters so that if I visit a web page about the Lakers, it's pulling them from what else do we have about the Lakers? To their credit, it was a really, to their, to ChatGPT's credit, it was a really well thought out idea that like passed the sniff test and banging on it. So maybe we should prototype it. Nice job. So now what I'm saying is, okay, Let's keep going down your rabbit hole. All right, we want to build your idea of ChatGPT. You're hired. You're hired. But there's still this privacy concern. We can't send someone's browsing data to you to open AI servers because it might include bank information, health records, private conversations. Is there any way to get around that? Pat me on the back. It's great that you're thinking about these issues. Thanks, ChatGPT. Well, what's cool about this is even though it's made by OpenAI, its first suggestion is actually that we don't use GPT-4. It's saying that we could use essentially open source LLM models that are alternatives and run them locally on the on the person's computer. This is a great idea. We've also tried this. Those models aren't as good as GPT-4 uh, and there's some performance uh, implications there, but it is a fantastic idea. I think its answer is accurate and fair. So, so far, I'm very impressed. Yes, it is kind of mind expanding, but so far it's confirmed. There are a lot of really pri gnarly privacy issues, which in the future definitely I think will be resolved. But in the meantime, it's probably too early. Thanks, ChatGPT. Grateful for you. I've got a bonus question. Do you have any feature ideas powered by GPT-4 that you think would be really cool within a web browser? I know this is a, maybe a bridge too far, but I would love if it could just do my job for me. Huh, has a few ideas. What do you know? All right, you already gave me that one. Personalized content recommendations. I don't need to read more content. Of, yep, you've already done that. Summer is, ah, it, why does everyone know what the summary thing? I don't get the summary thing. I don't even, hmm. All right, this is probably the least interesting answer. It basically just repeated all the things that other folks have already decided you can do with LLMs in a browser. <laughs> okay, so I asked ChatGPT, your ideas are good, but they're a little too obvious. What would a college roommate who just smoked a joint, what would they suggest we build in our web browser? A mood-based playlist generator, a dream interpretation tool, a personalized meme generator, a virtual roommate simulator, and a mind reading tool. So we still have a job. Nice. There have been two times in my life where I tried something personally and was like, oh snap. The first was when I got my see-through iMac when I was probably like 10. And then the second was when I tried the iPhone for the first time. The third, honestly, was using ChatGPT. I'm not, I've not, but for anyone that's used hallucinogenics like acid or shrooms or even marijuana, 
it 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 kind of just like loosens you your mind up a bit. I've heard. I've heard that it just sort of lets your mind consider things in perspectives that otherwise it wouldn't have ventured to. It almost never changes my opinion in some dramatic way or makes some argument that's impossible to refute. It's really good for going like, oh, snap. Don't think I ever would have gone there, but let's go there. What happens over there? I'm very excited because it feels like your interface to the internet, a web browser, is where this stuff should live because it is literally you interfacing with the internet in different ways. So excited for that OpenAI browser company collab coming to you in uh, 2024.